Hey everyone, ready for some Mac tips? Updating software on your Mac is an essential maintenance task that you should perform regularly. It can defend your Mac from malicious attacks, improve sluggish system performance, and fix bugs that can cause random crashes. Today I'll give you a complete guide on how to update your Mac to the latest Mac OS version and how to prepare your computer for it. I will also show you how you can update your apps both manually and automatically. Let's start with a Mac OS update. Before updating your Mac, you need to make sure your computer is ready for the upgrade. There are a few things worth checking before you download a new version of Mac OS. If you follow them all, you are less likely to have problems after the update. The first thing you should do is to check your Mac for compatibility and required free space. As with the previous versions, the latest one is available for a limited list of Mac models. You can see if your Mac can run it on Apple's website. Your Mac also needs to have a required amount of memory and storage space. So double check the Mac OS requirements before installation to avoid any issues. To find out your current Mac OS version, Mac model, memory, and storage space, choose About This Mac from the Apple menu. Head to the Overview and Storage tabs to check the details. Does your Mac fit the requirements? Share your results in the comments below. Let's move forward. Before installing a big update to the system, you should also clean it up first. This step is important if you want to install a new version quickly and avoid glitches of the new Mac OS. To give your Mac a thorough cleanup, you need to get rid of log files, old caches, and other system junk. Sounds like a lot of work, right? Actually, it's as easy as pie. Mac cleaners like Clean My Mac X can help you do the job with ease. All you need to do is to download Clean My Mac X. You don't risk anything, it's free. Find the download link in the description box right under this video. Once you install Clean My Mac X on your Mac, launch the app and hit scan to find all the extra files you can delete. When the analysis is over, you'll see a total amount of data that can be removed safely. Clean My Mac X also checks Mac for threats and defines optimization tasks. Click Review Details to see a full list of items found by Clean My Mac X. Switch between categories and deselect anything you don't want to remove. When you're ready, click Run to complete the cleanup and let Clean My Mac X optimize your Mac's performance. Done. Now your machine is in great shape and ready for the big update. Also, it's a good idea to back up your data. Luckily, Apple makes it easy to back up your Mac using Time Machine, so there's no excuse not to do that. To create backups with Time Machine, all you need is an external storage drive. When you connect an external drive directly to your Mac, you might be asked to use it to back up with Time Machine. In that case, check Encrypt Backup Disk, then click Use as a Backup Disk. If Time Machine doesn't ask you to use your drive, follow these steps to add it manually. First, head over to System Preferences in the Apple menu. Then choose Time Machine. Click Select Backup Disk, and pick your external drive from the list of available options. Then check the box next to Encrypt Backups and hit Use Disk. If the disk you selected isn't formatted as required by Time Machine, you will need to erase it first. After you select a backup disk, Time Machine immediately begins backing up your data. After it's done, you'll see a notification. To start a new backup later, choose Backup Now from the Time Machine menu in the menu bar. Use the same menu to check the status of a backup or skip a backup in progress. Finally, here's the last step before the update. Get connected. It takes time to download and install Mac OS, so make sure you have a reliable internet connection. If you're using your MacBook, plug it into AC power. Great, now your computer is ready for downloading and installing new Mac OS. Are you upgrading right from the previous Mac OS version? If so, go to Software Update and System Preferences to find the latest upgrade. Click Upgrade Now and follow the on-screen instructions to begin your upgrade. If you're using an earlier macOS version, upgrade to the newest release from the App Store instead. First, open the App Store and go to the Updates tab, or find needed macOS manually by search. Then click the Get button. Once the download is completed, the installer will open automatically. Click Continue and follow the on-screen instructions. Your Mac will restart when it's done. Congratulations! Now you have a new Mac OS. Are you ready for more tips? Let's see how to update apps on your Mac. 
First, I'll show you how to do that manually via the App Store or the native updater. After that, we'll see an easier automatic way. The App Store's updater makes it a snap to download and install all the updates you need at once. When you open the Updates tab, you'll see the most recent available versions of your apps. Click Update next to the app to update only that one. Hit Update All to update them all at once. The biggest drawback of this method is that it works only for software distributed by Apple and other developers through that store. Still, some popular third-party apps like Spotify notify you when new versions are available, sending you a link where you can get a new version. Some even offer background installers that can auto-update, leaving you one less thing to worry about. But smaller third-party apps might not have a built-in update check. So you'll have to visit the developer's website from time to time to check for new versions. The above may sound like a bit of a hassle. That's when it's time to try Clean My Mac X's updater feature. It had the same smooth Mac-style interface as the App Store, but it shows available updates for all the apps you had installed. Updating all your apps at once with Clean My Mac X will save you a lot of time. Here's how it works. Open Clean My Mac X and select Updater from the sidebar. Check the boxes next to the apps that you want to update or choose Select All. Lastly, hit the Update button. That's all it takes. Now your Mac is fully updated. Hope this video was helpful for you. Comment on what else you want to learn about Mac use. More tips and tricks are coming soon. Thanks for watching.